Hi, my name is Rose, and at the age of five, I have lost I lost my leg to an um, accident. Um, it's called a signed amputee, which means it's ankle, um, foot and ankle. And as I grew older, I started dealing with some severe pain issues and didn't know where to go and how to treat it. So I stopped in Total Health and Wellness and talked to Dr. Jawad and Faye and asked if there was any way that they thought that they can help me, and they truly have. And all the things that we have tried have truly helped me in so many ways. So please give it a try. Let them help you as they help me. Okay, I'm Dr. Jawad. This is Rose, as you met in the introduction. Now again, she is a Symes, it's called the Symes amputee, which is a Symes amputee, is an amputee loss of joint below the ankle. And what we're going to do basically, we're, how we're going to treat it, we're going to rewire Rose's brain. Basically we're going to hijack her brain to make her brain think that she has not only one ankle, but she has two ankles. Which in turn will help damp down the pain that she's perceiving due to the fact that she has a loss of limb. Okay, and I'll show you that in just a minute. Okay, so as you see here, what we're this is how the treatment's going to be. As you see with Rose, she does have a loss of an ankle on her right hand side. With the mirror box therapy, what we're doing is we're convincing her brain that she actually has two feet instead of one. So her left brain, which actually is controls the right side of her body, is actually tricked into seeing both limbs. So basically what that means, so as she moves her left foot, she's actually going to be moving her right ankle as well because the command center from the brain is sending signals to both feet to move them together. And so with, the vi with her visual system, we're convincing her left brain that she actually has a foot. And in turn, what it's going to do is it's going to dampen down the pain signals that's created by her right ankle, the loss of the right ankle, because how the body works is that when the brain sends, sends a signal down to the ankle to move. Now, as her ankle is moving, we do have pain receptors that actually send a signal back up to the brain, which tells the body to stop moving. In a Rose's case, with any phantom limb pain, that signal is not there. So the job and the goal is to, to convince the brain that it's there, so it'll actually release the grasp of the, the ankle. So this is how we're gonna do it. So with the mirror box therapy, we're actually telling her left brain that she has a right ankle. So when the treatment protocol is going to be, she's going to be moving both her, her ankles. In addition to that, I'm going to be using scalp acupuncture to increase the neurological stimulation to her brain of her lower limb. So I'm putting the, port, the points in accordingly in her scalp, which signifies the lower limb. Okay, so I'm going to have Rose move her ankles, start, start moving your ankle. Now, really what is going on is that she is moving both ankles, her, not only her left ankle, but as well as her right ankle. But with the use of the mirror box, with the mirror, we are convincing her left brain that she actually has two ankles moving, because the right ankle is moving according to her visual system. In addition to that, I'm going to be stimulating her right her brain as well with the scalp needles to increase that neurological stimulation, which in turn is going to dampen down the, the pain. Does that hurt, Rose? No. So tell us what's going on for you right now. It's as he's stimulating my brain, He, I feel like I have movement of my right foot, which I don't have. All right, so as you see with Rose, and if you, have, if you know anybody who has phantom limb pain, please come on in, because as you can see right here, I am helping a patient decrease her pain from her phantom limb, but also, too, I'm increasing her joint mobility that's really not there. So if you know anybody who has a phantom limb pain, please help give me a call, 630-653-2225.